It started off um, in 2006 as a warm-up for my Christmas display that I was planning on doing. And one of the guys from work saw this video on YouTube about somebody doing this computer-controlled display. So I went and uh, researched it a little bit and I said, no problem, I can do that. So I did that and it's just gotten bigger and bigger every year. My controls engineering technical abilities translate into this uh, by doing wiring, debugging, getting all the cabling working, programming it. It grew from uh, simple 16 channels and I had pumpkins talking to the music and that's all I did the first year. And then every year I've added on and added on and now I'm up to seven 16 channel controllers. The kids like the candy the most, but they like the flames and the spider usually scares them pretty good. The spider's seven feet in diameter. The setup takes uh, about 30 hours from start to finish. A lot of times I'll be out here with a big headlamp on, putting stuff out at night, getting everything set up. The flames are all done with pneumatics technology. All the controls are done with the computer and electronic technologies. This is one of my controller boxes. This green network cable is connected to my computer in the basement. It turns on and off the lights as I command it to do from the program. This software sends signals out to the controllers. The controllers react to when the cells turn on. So as the time goes or the music is playing, each one of these cells will turn on and off the lights as it's going through the music sequence. So you can see the individual faces. These represent the flaming pumpkins. This is the fence out front. This is the thunder and lightning up here. And then the front of the house is here. Without this technology, it would be a static display and it would just be lights on all the time, kind of boring. It'd be cool to look at, but not nearly as interesting. The music is hooked to a transmitter and that is transmitted on uh, 88.5 FM, so you can hear it in your car out at the street and listen to the music on your car radio instead of having to stand outside in the cold. My kids get asked about it all the time at school. When is it gonna be up? When can we come see it? I like that.